We finally did it. We finally got someone to send me some lenses to test out. This is great. Thank you very much, Zongi, for sending out the Cine lens. I, sorry if I'm butchering this name. This is terrible. Uh, I should probably get this right. Uh... Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Cam Ward, and today we're going to be talking about bit of a first impressions really on the Zongyi F1 Cine lens. I keep going like this, like I've got it, but I don't. I had to send it back, so I don't have it anymore. But I didn't use it as much as I would like to have used it. Um, I've had it for like three weeks. I'm going to just kind of give you my first impressions on the lens, what I liked about it, some things that could be improved in the future. I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys. I really like this lens and it's really cheap for a Cine lens. Take what I say today with a grain of salt because like I said, I've not used it as much as I would like to, but basically the main reason I didn't really reach for it on the shoot for Iron was because I didn't have an ND filter which fit the thread. I wasn't using matte boxes in this case with drop-in 4x5 filters. And the thing is 25mm isn't really a focal length that I would normally go for, so that's why I've not used it as much as I would like to. So this lens couldn't have landed really with me at a better time because I recently watched Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. I thought it was, a, it was an alright film, but um, I do enjoy his films because generally the visuals are just, they're pretty insane, they're pretty ace, and they generally look pretty unique. He shot everything at like f0.95 and in the behind the scenes, even he surprised how much is in focus. After watching that, I was interested in lenses with low apertures, see if we could get something similar. I looked at lenses that he used, some of these uh, Japanese rangefinder lenses. And they're about two thousand dollars, but he obviously got them rehoused, so it was way more expensive. I am totally rambling about lenses right now. Okay, but yeah, Zongyi reached out to me, and they were like, "We've got this f one point oh Cine lens. Do you want to test it?" I was like, "Perfect, let's do it." And I wanted to see if I could kind of recreate that Army of the Dead look by just blowing everything out of focus in the background. However, this is when one of my issues with the Pocket Four K arrived. In the past, I've not really had too much issue with the depth of field from this sensor. However, after using the Sony A7S for years and stuff and full frame cameras, I was like, damn, maybe it is time that I go to a Pocket 6K with a Super 35 sensor or even um, look for something full frame. If you do want to achieve the Army of the Dead look, you are going to need a full frame sensor, really. Army of the Dead was shot on the Monstro with a full frame sensor at 8K, but it is really gonna allow you to get a massive depth of field and really blow out that background. So that is something to keep in mind if you wanna achieve that look. However, it will give you something similar in terms of blowing out the background. So if you're on a budget, this lens is like 350 to maybe 500 pounds in the UK. So it's not too crazy, it's not out there, but it will give you tons of bokeh and just, it's a really nice lens probably for fashion shooters or even commercials as well. Build quality of this lens is fantastic. They ship it out in this little box. It looks really nice, it's well presented. And the actual lens itself is metal and it just feels really well built and sturdy. Not only that, but because it's a cine lens, it has hard stops. So you know when you're reaching minimum or maximum focus. And same goes for the aperture ring as well. Most of us are probably used to using these uh, photo lenses. This is a 2470, one of my favorite lenses. It focuses off forever. You don't know when you've hit your minimum or maximum focus. So. Once you use this in your lens, you'll really appreciate um, having hard stops. Not only that, but the minimum focus distance is very good on this lens as well. Recently, I've been using a lot of anamorphic lenses, um, such as the Kawa Prime anamorphics, and the minimum focus distance isn't great, so it's hard to get in close um, for some of those character moments. With these lenses, I found that you could really get up close to your talent. Uh, for me, it was really handy as well to have. This is a very inexpensive lens for a cine lens, so if you're just starting out and you're looking for some cheaper lenses, then absolutely. I, I mean, these are some great lenses to use. I didn't mention it before, but again, if you're shooting in low light, F1 is going to be fantastic for that. Now, there's a little bit of chromatic aberration on them. They're not, it's not crazy. It's just whatever, really, isn't it? For me right now, I'm looking for lenses with more character, basically. And these lenses, they don't really scream character. They just kind of do the job, which isn't a bad thing at all. But recently, I've been looking at lenses like the Canon Sumire. But again, Army of the Dead, Canon rangefinder lenses. Like vintage lenses they have a very unique look to them and that's something i would love to see in some of these lower end lenses to get a little bit experimental with it you know and have something going on with the bokeh perhaps just gives it a bit more of a unique character and a kind of a bit more flavor um to that lens but like i said this is just kind of my first impression on this lens alone i've not tested the other ones out from what i can gather you can't really go wrong with this lens it's a really really solid lens for the price point i would really like to test these lenses out in the future perhaps on a red komodo um, because they're just so small and lightweight, I think they'd be a really cracking match for that sensor. And you've got that bigger depth of field 
given the bigger sensor on the Komodo. Um, so you could probably achieve more of that bokeh and kind of that army of the dead look. But yeah, thank you very much Songyi for sending out this lens. I really enjoyed using it for when I did use it. Um, and I'd like to test more out in the future, perhaps with some focal lengths, which are kind of more to my style. Yeah, and if you're picking up this lens, you should probably pick up an ND filter just so that you can really maximize what this lens can do in terms of stopping all the way down to F1. That's everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more of my work, follow me on Instagram at Cam Award Film. Any questions, drop me a message. I will help you out there. Um, but what's your go-to lens? What's kind of your dream lens that you would love to use? Like what, what's the lenses that you really want to use? For me recently, it was kind of the Cook Anamorphics and I got to use them uh, and they looked fantastic. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. And uh, did you enjoy Army of the Dead? Let's, let's have a chat.